so I've arrived on location. It's at this like studio. It used to be a church. It looks really cool actually. It's kind of raining a bit, but I saw in the weather report that the weather is gonna get a bit better. But for now, yeah. I just hope that this makeup artist can remove like, my eyes look so heavy underneath. The circles are circling, God. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is like a croissant with like a little cheese and tomato. Some pancakes, a muffin. I don't know what this is. A little donut. Wow. So I really like the job that the makeup artist did because I have like my under eyes are just doing things that they're not supposed to be doing and yeah. Anyways, I'm eating the breakfast that they gave me. There was this really nice sandwich in there that has like cheese, tomato, pesto. I'm done with my makeup and I'm waiting for wardrobe. That dude over there is steaming my outfit. Pancake? Kinda yeah, I I like to post videos on YouTube. Eating. Yeah. Okay, so you're <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm doing mukbang. Coffee. It has almond milk and one and a half sugars. I asked for that specifically. So I came outside to just like get some fresh air and sunshine. I'm waiting for my outfit to be finished steaming. Okay, jeans come through. I love it. So the pink is nice. It is. But how can we fix it? Yes. yes. I'm sure we can fix it in the yeah. Okay, guys, so I just got my lunch. Looks like a chicken wrap and then two kinds of salad, like this one and then the potato salad. So I'm changing into my second look for the day. Not really like the whole outfit changing, but just the top. Instead of this pink one, I need to put on this purple one now, as well as these flip flops. A brain jacket maybe. So they don't like the purple top that I'm wearing right now. I have to change into this pink dress and see if it suits my character more. And so that's what I'm gonna do right now. <sighs> I think it's really crazy that you can have so many amazing blessings in your life at the same time as things basically like feeling like they're falling apart. 
I don't know how I found myself in a toxic relationship this year. I think honestly I'm toxic as well. So it's like you're gonna definitely attract what you are. But I just wish that I could learn to practice discernment more and I could avoid these situations more. I'm definitely gonna like spend time single for now until I just feel a lot better. And until I'm sure that I'm not gonna end up in that situation again. And it sucks because I really like this person, but it's like, if you're not good to or for each other, then like, what's the point? So yeah, I'm kind of just like hoping that I feel better over the next couple of weeks and months and that I learn as much as I can from the situation. And I also hope that I don't like relapse, you know? When you're in like a toxic situation, you guys can literally admit that you're bad for each other and still continue and break up and get back together, break up and get back together. And like we've broken up a bunch of times, but this one is like for real. This one is for real. And coming to that realization that it really is over is like sad, but also amazing at the same time. I'm happy to be free. And I hope that like things just get better from here, you know? Let me go back to set and see what they say. Hey guys, that's fine. I marked one while you guys were in here. Mm -hmm. I find it. That one. Yeah, very cool. Just, I'm not so keen. The open mm -hmm. eyes. We're finally taking the last shots of the day. I'm tired. I've been here since nine and it's like four o'clock right now. And I'm ready to be done. But I don't stop until the work stops. So we keep going, right? Thank you guys so much for tuning into my YouTube channel. It's been fun. Make sure you like, share and subscribe. I'm going to continue with this photo shoot. And we'll talk to each other in the next vlog.